when a doctor starts treating themselves as a scientist when they don't have the background knowledge to do so? Well, I think the biggest thing comes down to the training in study design and interpretation of the data, mm -hmm. but there's not a lot of formal um, training with regard to, okay, is the study designed in a way that will appropriately evaluate the question at hand? Are we actually collecting the data that need to be collected? Are there variables that might skew these data that we're not accounting for? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's totally fine because people can't be trained in everything, course, right? There yeah. are reasons that there are specific fields of expertise. And that's why scientists and clinicians really need to work together to do that. Yes. Because just like <laughs> just like clinicians, we're not going to go treat people. Right. We're not going to go make treatment recommendations. We're going to say, okay, well, the data support this as a treatment for X, Y, and Z, or the data do not support, you know, the evidence for the treatment of X, Y, or Z. The way that I'll put this on a practical perspective is if I have a patient in front of me and I'm a clinician, I'm a doctor, I am going to diagnose the patient based on my evaluation of what's going on, which includes a history, a physical, potentially some tests. And then my treatment plan will come from the evidence that was collected by scientists, mm -hmm. that was evaluated by scientists. And therefore, these clinical guidelines that were sort of laid out for me, I go off 